Lab. Hey there, Sophie here. Welcome back to the Lighthouse Lab. I've just been playing with this. It's a model. Can you guess what it represents? I'll give you a clue. Your body is made up of trillions of these. Did you get it? Okay, one more clue. They are sometimes called the building blocks of life. Yes, that's right. It's a model of an animal cell. Let's take a look at its components and structures called organelles. First, let's take a look at the cell membrane, also known as the plasma membrane. This thin layer surrounds the cell, separating its contents from the outside environment. It's kind of like the skin of the cell. It's made up of lipids and proteins and plays an important role in regulating the movement of materials in and out of the cell. Next, we have the cytoplasm, a gel-like substance that fills the cell and contains all the organelles. Moving on, we have the nucleus, which is the control centre of the cell. It contains the cell's DNA and controls cell growth and reproduction. Within the nucleus, we have the nucleolus, which is the structure responsible for the production of ribosomes. Ribosomes are the cell's protein factories and are essential for cell growth and repair. Throughout the cell, we find the endoplasmic reticulum and the Golgi apparatus. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of flattened sacs and tubules that are involved in the processing and transport of lipids and proteins. The Golgi apparatus modifies, sorts and packages these molecules for transport to other parts of the cell or to the outside of the cell. Lastly, we have the mitochondria, sometimes called the powerhouse of the cell. They convert energy from food into a form that the cell can use to carry out its functions. I hope you enjoyed this tour of the animal cell and that you have a better understanding of the complex and intricate structures that make up these building blocks of life. See you again soon in the Lighthouse Lab. Bye for now.